A little background on the welding program is there is 730 hours in the program. It's a two-year program that requires students to have perseverance. It's a program that requires a good deal of eye-hand coordination. Students will have to have stick-to-itiveness. They want to complete what they started and take pride in the work. And this is an important drive, one of the driving forces in welding to learn the trade. Opportunities for students include starting to weld right out of the career center. Um, we have a number of students that go right on the job. We have some students that go on for further training at uh, community college, and we have some that will go to college for engineering. Very high demand for welding engineers. There's two employers for every one graduate in the United States. Some students have gone into the military welding and some, a few have gone underwater. Qualities that a student needs to have is patience. They have to be able to work with others, pay attention to detail. They have to work safely. They have to work under deadlines. Beside the safety, the weld requirements themselves for certification, for example, one must be very exact on the weld. Some of the certifications students can earn are all based with American Welding Society, and that is international standards. So if you were to pass a weld certification in Michigan, it's good in Maine and Montana. We have standards that are set and considered to be accepted throughout the world. So when one can weld to those standards and pass a weld test and get certified, that's what makes a difference. For example, pipeline welding. You have to be able to show competence in that and have your weld tested. Specific skills that students walk away with is the ability to work with hand tools, with some power equipment, measurement, layout, uh, the attention to details and taking pride in their finished product. They have to be able to read blueprints. The layout work, again, for a project, we also do repair work. So we may not have a blueprint except to fix the part that's broken. So this is all in the day of a life of a welder. The students do get out of welding. We always go on at least two field trips if not three a year. Students do job shadows in local welding shops. We have a number of students that are on co-op right now, um, and they bring their work experience back in the classroom so they have a chance to share that. Trailers, they weld on boats, they weld on pipeline, they weld on trench boxes. Sometimes the cyclotron and some of the products that they, they do there. Some of the areas that students have gone into is they'll get a job and work in a shop and then some of them will go on to school while they're working. Some will go right to work at a special welding school, a school that specializes in, for example, pipeline or nuclear or uh, pressure vessel welding. If they want to go on to the trades, that is another form of training, so for example, plumbers, pipe fitters, all weld for job security. The engineering program is producing about half a number of engineers that are needed in the United States. So the demand is, is very high. And uh, we even have companies that are going to other countries to get engineers. The working conditions in welding are sometimes challenging that it gets very hot, it can be humid, so one has to adapt physically, uh, mentally, the, the challenges of working in 
high conditions. For some people, it's something they, they don't want to do. For some people, they do. And so for students that like to take pride in what they do, there is work uh, for them in welding.